What is up, everybody? To reverse the fear today, here with that video you guys have been waiting on the biggest news of yesterday. Apparently, Jim Ryan, Jim Lion Ryan, is leaving PlayStation. Ah, oh, man, <laughs> if you can see by the big smile on my face, I am happy about this news right here. This guy definitely needed to go. So, apparently, he plans to retire. That's the words they're using. We don't know what juicy stuff that's going on behind the scenes, behind this whole Activision Blizzard deal. Uh, he probably got the million to get kicked. He probably got kicked out, but they're saying retiring and be nice about it. We don't know what's going on. So the official official statement is he's retiring from Sony Interactive Entertainment in March 2024. So he is leaving very soon, which I I can't be even happier at this moment, at this news right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is better than any PlayStation showcase announcement by far. Now, Phil Spencer, you know, Phil Spencer is a noble guy. He gave the whole PR speech saying, Jim Ryan has been a great contributor to our industry and a fierce leader for PlayStation. I wish him the best in what he does next. Thank you for all you've done for the community over the last 30 years, Jim. That's the nice guy approach. But I'm going to be the bad guy here. I'm glad Jim Ryan is going. He don't know anything about video games. He is just there to sell PlayStations. Sure, I guess, if you just want to make money. But people are passionate about this hobby, Jared Jim. It's like, if you don't care anything about the hobby, then you shouldn't be here. And you can tell with that. Like, somebody made a long list of grievances with Jim Ryan. I agree with most of these. Not all of them. I agree with most of them. But there's a lot of things with this whole PS5 generation. This whole PS5 era right here. The lack of first price support for PSVR 2. I don't care about PSVR 2 in general. And the fact that this is a showcase, they're making a big push for this PSVR 2. Why? The vast majority of people do not care about this. This is a very niche part of game and this PSVR VR, VR technology in general. Most people don't care about this. Don't make a big focus about this. I want to see your first party games, which you had a major lack of first party games this year. People are bragging on PS5 sales. Like, sure, they're just selling out Xbox 2 to 1. Who gives a crap when you're only getting one first party game this year? And you don't know what's in the future. Wolverine, eventually. I don't know what the first party games are going to come out this year or next year in the future. The lack of new IPs. They're being super secret, secretive about their about what games they got coming up in the future. That is a big uh, up. That really pisses me off. Like, I know what Xbox has coming in the future. I know what Nintendo has coming in the future. I don't know what PlayStation first party is coming in the future. I just know they're being carried by Square Enix, though. You can make sure you got a Final Fantasy game, but first party games, where are they at? So, worst showcase in PlayStation history. I couldn't agree more. That showcase was doll crap. And it was like people were trying to say it was okay. No, that showcase was awful. You waited so long to show, make an official place to showcase, and it's just awful. No, that isn't acceptable. People actually hyping up that Splatoon ripoff. Like, really? This is what you bought a PlayStation for to play Splatoon? If I want to play Splatoon, I'll play on the Nintendo Switch, the actual authentic version. I want to play a ripoff version. PS Portal has no Bluetooth for 200 bucks. The fact that PS Portal even exists, this is a waste of a handheld, waste of technology. The fact that Jim approved this is this has got approved on his watch is very telling that he doesn't play video games. Because who would buy this thing? PlayStation Plus price increases under his watch. Why are we paying more for PS Plus just to play online, basically? And why is Cloud Save still behind a paywall? That is just awful decisions all around. No roadmap. Once again, we don't know what games are in the future for PlayStation first party. We know the third party carries Sony, but where is the first party games that we don't know? No gameplay for The Last of Us Factions. <laughs> that has to be one of the worst ones if you are a diehard PlayStation fan. Like, where's Factions at? Like, that game, we should have got that since The Last of Us Part 2 release, but, you know, I guess the industry was A-OK -okay with it because Halo Infinite got screwed now for not having a multiplayer mode. They're, they're missing features on um the co-op features or whatever. But no scrutiny for The Last of Us Part 2 missing factions, which people cared about a lot. So, fascinating. Have you focused on games and service games? Once again, I don't care about games and service. I don't like. I guess I guess some people do care about it because Fortnite is very popular. The um, Call of Duty game is very popular. That's a game and service. But the vast majority of these games are probably going to flop. Just being honest here. I have no faith in those games and service games actually being good. And yeah, this dude being a major uh, C block for Activision Blizzard deals. Remember that that mighty quote saying, 
I just want to block the merger or whatever stupid quote he was making just extend us for way longer than it needed to be. I was like, and he's paying, paying companies keep their games off Game Pass. And I was like, why don't you just keep, why don't you just make deals, get, put their games on your service, your crappy service. But nope, he was definitely trying to postpone people from playing these Activision games on Game Pass or playing other games on Game Pass as well too. So that guy definitely can go. He can kick rocks in my opinion. So if he leaves, I don't care. Good riddance. <laughs> people are saying it's just funny how they said making a sad state but i'm enjoying every second of those this guy needs to go get to someone who actually cares about video games in that position he doesn't clearly doesn't care about video games he only cares about the money i guess playstation only cares about the money that they make from these console sales i was like if the results of this money is just having your ps plus increase only getting one game one big first party game this year then this was like I don't care. I was like, that's trash, in my opinion. I don't care how much. I don't care if they sell Xbox five to one. If that's the results, one first party game a year, which is unacceptable, and what, it's completely unacceptable for the so-called market leader. So, just my thoughts about this. So, I know people are saying, "Oh, we're sorry to see him go." But I am happy. Screw that guy. And the irony, and they said Phil Spencer is going to be the one to go because of how Xbox is doing. But seems that he got the boot he got the boot and he wants to say he's retiring which I think that's BS I think he got the boot because they see how big of a threat the Activision Blizzard King deal is going to be when Xbox gets a hold of that company because it's most likely going to go through at this point here people that deal is most likely going to go through and he sees it right on the wall and he knows that hey that first party is not covering like how to throw those third party games that like Call of Duty is so that's just going to be his sayonara right there so what do you got to say about this <laughs> better than any showcase best two years for playstation old sony happiness is back yeah because i wasn't a fan of sony since like the ps2 generation but even the previous generations i think they did better than this ps5 i'm not feeling it right now most of these ps5 games you can just you could have kept the ps4 honestly i mean the only big new game is really um the game coming out this year spider-man 2 but i could have been just fine with just the ps4 and just wait until spider-man 2 dropped to be honest so you know that's PS5 for you. The PS5 generation for you. Uh, salute to Jim. Hope he has a wonderful retirement with his family in Europe. Now they wonder who is going to replace him as CEO. I don't know. Herman Holst. Who knows at this point? Hopefully it's somebody who actually plays video games. <laughs> who can hold a controller the right way. Someone who can actually hold a controller the right way. It's not going to be all upside down and stuff like that. When they get when they get interviewed by a controller. It's like. It's just the fact that that even happened. There's a pic, photo evidence of this guy holding a controller backwards. <laughs> it's just, just, it's just shocking. It's just like what the hell. Uh... We won RP Bozo. <laughs> Jim has reached his limit. Oh man. I'm curious what the quote tweets are saying about this one. Because the quote tweets are usually more spicier than the regular tweets. Uh, as official Jim Ryan is stepping down as the head of PlayStation. This man retiring like, really? Are you using a Thanos gift for this for this guy? I almost said clown, but for this guy, like he gave y'all one first party PlayStation game this year. I don't know if that's something to be happy about and raising the PS plus prices. Like, I don't know. The Sony fan base is a strange community. I'll be kind of ups I'll be visibly angry about that. Like you're raising PS plus and then you give me one game this year to be happy about. Okay. Uh... I don't think some of you don't understand how huge this news is. Jeremy Ryan retiring from Square, uh, Sony means that under new leadership, PlayStation will be able to blossom even further within the game industry as a whole. Very just curious to see who will be taking charge in the future. Let me see. Who do you... Does some of these people leave already? I know he's still there. I think he's head of the Indies. I don't know who this guy is. Is he still there? I'll just turn my host. Okay. Didn't he leave? <laughs> this guy left there. He was a previous uh, head of PlayStation. Uh, hope the next CEO is Japanese. I want them to focus more on Japanese and invest in Japanese-oriented games and build more studios in Japan. Yeah, because PlayStation did originally as a Jap it is a Japanese company. It originally as a Japanese company, but no focus on the Japanese games really. So very bizarre. Uh. 
um, except money hadn't Japanese RPGs to the platform. That's the big innovation for Japanese games on PlayStation. Um, cool, now resurrect Sony Japan Studios. I agree. It's like a lot of people like those games, like the um, Gravity Rushes, those type of games. And it's sad we don't get to see those type of games on here. It's just to focus on the big budget action, sad dad simulators from PlayStation right now, which they need to, they definitely need some diversity in the lineup, especially not not the, the games as a service nonsense. So let's see what are people are saying about this Phil Spencer post. <laughs> Activision Blizzard. King Deal movie that'd be kind of funny. Such a class act where we know what really happened. <laughs> he tapped out. Uh, okay, there is only one love. That is kind of true. Reggie Love, Sean Lee Love, Jim Love. He's leaving. There's only one love. You know. How Phil really feels. <laughs> Probably. Uh, now, it will, it will kind of be sad to feel Spencer Love because he actually did change Xbox from that horrible Xbox One generation. But Jim Ryan leaving, I don't have, I don't have any sympathy for that guy leaving. I don't really care. Because PlayStation was already doing it in a pretty good state. And he kind of, I don't know. He sold more consoles, but I think he made it worse overall. Like, if you just kind of like, sure, he see made more money with sales. That's a good thing for the company. But as a gamer, did he really help, did he really make it better as a gamer for me? No, I don't think so. I think he's made it a lot worse. So I'm glad that he's gone. Phil is gonna step down to carry move soon. <laughs> now that he won't feel gone. That's hilarious. Xbox just has bad games or mediocre ones. Okay. And OD one games like Game Pass. The man who erased his future. <laughs> They're butthurt. <geez. laughs> that list of all the Xbox fails. They're so butthurt. Uh-uh. Y'all are being too hard on Jim. He just wants to step away so he can play Starfield 4s and all the games dropping on Xbox next year. Probably. I wouldn't. He don't play games, though. It's like, you can't even say that. You don't even play games. So, yeah. Uh, for 30 years being CEO, bro still did more than Phil Spencer. I'm pretty sure he didn't serve PlayStation as a CEO for that long, but okay. <laughs> Sales are up. Let that river flow. Yes, because sales. That's all they care about is sales. But you get a, a trash product that results of it. Yes, one first party game, a portable that's about to flop, and some VR two that nobody cares about. Yes, that's probably about sales though. Uh, you worry too much, bro. This is fine. As the whole house is on fire. He's a better CEO than first person. This guy is nuts. <laughs> I was like, Sony fan is just nuts. Enjoy your PS Plus price increase. Like, once again, why is it no outcry about that? Like, it was when it first originally announced, got announced for that PS Plus increase, but now they're just okay, just okay with it. It's just fascinating. Uh, still beats the crap out of Xbox. What games do you have in the future for PlayStation? That's not third party. Just let me know that. Just besides Wolverine, because we got another that's coming out next. What other games are coming out for PlayStation first party? It will be crickets to that, for that answer. At least with Xbox, we know what games are coming out. PlayStation, we don't know crap. We don't know jack and crap about what's coming out next. <laughs> Crying from third place. <laughs> Third place has games coming out though. Third game, third place has plenty of first party games coming out on a Game Pass deal one. So okay, I'd rather be I'd rather be crying so to say from third place than being first place only one game coming out this year. But yeah, I'm well, I'm just gonna include it right here. I am glad to see this guy go. Um, 
<laughs> some people want to say, some people want to be nice about it, like Phil Spencer say, hey, it's glad to see you go, it's glad to see you here, but it's, it's, I would, uh, screw all that, this guy needs to go, get an actual gamer who cares about video games as the new CEO, uh, change, rewrite some of this, this nonsense, like don't focus on a portable, that's the, that trash portable, PSVR 2 should be a niche Absolutely niche market. It is a niche market. It should get niche amount of coverage. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't because VR two shouldn't get shouldn't get the same amount of coverage as the first party games coming out, which we don't really know what's coming out first party. What get wise once again. So those are my thoughts. I definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this. Uh, are you sad to see this guy? Are you happy to see this guy go? Let me know your thoughts. Uh, leave a like, like this video. And always thanks for watching and peace.